Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sophie, aka Peachy Craft. Today I'm using my alcohol markers again and we're just jumping straight on into the video, into the drawing process. So I've already pre-sketched out um, the picture that I'm going to be colouring in today and I used a, it's like an erasable pencil. Um, it's a mechanical one and it's actually water soluble. So as you apply the alcohol markers on top, it makes the ink, the um, pencil disappear, which is great um, in some aspects. If you're not sure, if you didn't realise that it did it and you drew a whole sketch, then it disappears. That's not so great. So trial and error, I now know how to use it. It works best with alcohol markers for me, not watercolour. Um, but anyway, yes, yeah, so we're doing the alcohol marker drawing. Um, and like I say, so we're doing our pastel colours again and it turned out looking really pretty. Um, initially, I start blending the drink and I do struggle a bit to get that clean bl blend um, just because the colours are so different. They naturally don't want to blend together. So what I did is I layered the pink and the purple with the broad nib and then using the brush nib, I would kind of feather the colour into one another. Normally normally I'd do the purple to the pink just to get that graduation and then I'd go back in with the pink and feather up the other way just to get it to blend really. Um, it's just a case with alcohol markers of layering and layering until it's blended. Um, when I use alcohol markers I tend to get a lot of pigment on the page in terms of the page will be wet like um when you're blending the markers together, you can you can tell the page is still damp. And that's how I get the blessed blend. If the page is too dry, the ink tries to stay where it's put and it won't blend. Whereas if it's quite wet, then the ink kind of spreads to where you want it to be. Um, in a sense, obviously you've got to do a bit of blend a lot of blending yourself as well. But yeah, that's just what I do. Um I did end up struggling quite a lot with this picture. You'll see um, the alcohol markers, they blended really well. Um, I never really know how to do line art when it comes to using alcohol markers. I always feel like my line art just ends up looking really messy, really patchy. I've tried using coloured pencils. Um, I've got them coloured fine liners, so I might give them a go. But I just feel like they're going to end up being too stark on the, on the actual alcohol markers themselves. But we'll see. So yeah, so I wasn't too happy with the line art and then, so I thought, oh, I'll go on top of it with um, a white Posca to add highlights and things. Turns out my Posca is running out, um, which was annoying. I do love Posca white pens for highlights, but I find they run out so quickly. Obviously, I do use it a lot, but I feel like I'm just always buying them. And when they do end up running out, you can really tell because they just go patchy and the pigment isn't intense. So I tried applying white gouache um, on the hand. You'll see I tried painting on some white gouache, but it just didn't, it didn't look good. I didn't have much control, so I scrapped that. So I then grabbed my Liquitex acrylic marker, which is a really good acrylic marker, but it's all I only have a super broad nib, so I couldn't get them fine details. So I just decided to keep struggling with my dried out Posca and just keep layering it basically. Um, and it did turn out all right. It's not as intense as what I'd like it to be, but you know we're just working with what we've got. So yeah, I struggled a bit with that, and it, I think when I was drawing the hand. It just looks a bit strange on the actual picture. I think the drink turned out quite really pretty. The background, all the bubbles turned out great. But the hand, I wish I just didn't include it. And I just added like a shadow under the cup. Just because I feel like it looks a bit strange how it's holding the actual cup itself. On the photo, it looks fine. Obviously, my drawing skills of reinterpreting it on the page just didn't turn out the best. Um... But that's just my opinion. Let me know what you guys think. Obviously, we're, we're our own worst critics, so it's just one of them really, isn't it? Um, so yeah, so I had a lot of fun drawing this. I really like the flowers on the left-hand side. I think they've turned out really pretty. That I did that in a more sketchily style. I didn't really care too much about blending and things like that. I think I probably spent an hour on the left-hand side. And then on the right-hand side, I decided to try and do it a bit more controlled with line art and highlights and blending. Um, so yeah, I think the spread overall looks really pretty. 
So let me know what you think. I'll just put some nice music so we can enjoy the rest of the speed painting. And then I'll catch everyone up at the end of the video.
This is the picture all finished and this is the full sketchbook spread. Um, I think it turned out quite nice. It's not my favourite drawing in the world. I think it's the hand. It just looks a bit strange to me. But together as a full spread it turned out looking quite pretty. Um, so let me know what you think. If you enjoyed the video make sure to hit that like button and subscribe if you want to see more content. And I'll catch everyone in the next video. Bye guys.